today, a remarkable piece of science no one has ever done before. We're told to wear face masks, and this is one of the most popular, but do they work? This is how it appears under the low power digital microscope. Each hole is a quarter of a millimetre across. Now we'll mount a portion on a prepared slide for examination with the research microscope. Magnified about 50 times, we can see the structure of the mask. It looks like crude sacking. Next we'll crank the magnification up to a couple of hundred so you can clearly see the polyester fibres from which this mask is made. And here's the ingenious bit. I mounted the mask on a stained preparation of bacteria and magnified about 750 times. You can see just how small the microbes really are. If I adjust the image, I can add red circles to show you. On the right is a single bacterium. On the lower left is a bacterium dividing in half. They are small. Now let's magnify over a thousand times. And here we can see a few stray wisps of the mask and behind them the bacteria. They are far too small to be stopped by the mask. At maximum magnification you can clearly see the stained bacteria and now I'm going to add a coronavirus particle. Can't see it? Well, there it is. Can something so small really be stopped by a fabric mask? We measure microbes in microns. A micron is a millionth of a metre. The bacteria that give you boils or a sore throat measure one micron. A sturdy hair is a hundred microns thick. Here's a close-up photo of some stained bacteria, each measuring one micron across. The size of the coronavirus particle is arrowed. Now, to appreciate just how small it really is, we're going to drop it onto a bacterium and see how many stretch across the cell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Viruses span one micron, the width of that bacterium. So how many bacteria reach across a polyester fibre from the mask? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, each fibre measures ten microns thick. And here is a fibre alongside a very fine human hair that's fifty microns across. One, two, three, four, five fit across the fifty micron hair. And how many hairs does it take to span a hole in the mask? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's an elongated hole, so it's safer to say five. Five times fifty equals two hundred and fifty microns, a quarter of a millimeter, which is the size of the hole. So we multiply ten viruses on a bacterium. 10 bacteria on the width of a fibre, times 5 the width of the hair, multiplied by 5, and you can see that it takes a line of 2,500 coronaviruses side by side to reach across a single hole. In the size of a hole in this mask, you could pack 5 million coronaviruses. <laughs>